the, edu the society has to educate. And we have to educate in a way where we teach young people to ask questions. Who's writing our books? Who's writing the literature we read about? I integrate novels, one that I believe my students can relate to. You know, I incorporate writers such as Sandra Cisneros, Gary Soto, Tomas Rivera, African-American writers like uh, Walter Dean Myers. I try to incorporate, I look at the composition of my class and bring in literature that they can relate to. When I think of Sister Francina, I think of the teacher that was never boring. She's always had, she's always made herself seem interesting. She made every subject that she taught interesting so that we can all be involved in it instead of being bored and laying down. And she'd tell us how college is important and without college, like, you might not become someone. You need the education. So by spring, summer of 1980, I had enrolled at Cal State Northridge and Mecha made a huge impact on my life because one, Mecha provided a great support system. And we provided a support for, for one another. When we needed to study, we studied together. If someone didn't have a book, we loaned our book to one another. So as a student, I went to work. I got a job at Pacoima Elementary. A lot of the teachers who were there were there to, to collect a paycheck and neglected a lot of the students. I just realized that's, that's where my heart was. I mean, I had worked... In the summer, I had worked at a home for battered women and children. And it was a good job, and it was tough, but I didn't get the same feeling that I did working in the classroom with students. When I was in formation as a sister, the issue of affirmative action came up. How it came up, I don't remember, but there was this huge debate, and, you know, well, minorities are taking our slots in college. I raised my hand, and I said, you know what? You're looking at someone. I, and I said, and I proudly will tell you, I'm an EOP. I, can't, I was admitted in, in school under EOP and affirmative action. I didn't take anybody's place. I took the place that my parents, my uncles were all denied. I didn't take anybody's place. I took my rightful place. How long do you think it took to travel from West Africa to the United States? Three months. Brian? A month. A month and a half. I'm sure it took more than a week. Two months.